Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Harris and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for all the comments and you guys have been very supportive and I absolutely love it. And uh, thank you for the subscribers and leaving all the suggestions, I very much appreciate it. So, let's get on with it. Today, I am going to be reacting to Joey Diaz. What happened was over the weekend, I was listening to Joe Rogan. And I was like, hold on a second, I know Joey Diaz. And I do know, I've watched some of his Joe Rogan stuff. And I saw a recommendation on the comment saying, do one-legged woman bit for Joey Diaz. And I was like, hold on a second. I don't know what that bit is. So I searched it and I found it. It turned out I haven't seen it. And I've got a feeling knowing Joey Diaz is going to be absolute bomb. So without any delays, let's get to Joey Diaz sleep with one-legged woman. Here we go. Randy. Don't bring anyone mother into this. Yo, mama in the fucking stand. By the way, you know Potter. Did you know that he can't come? Where? Josh Potter can, can get it up and he, he can, can ejaculate and, uh, with a girl. No. Tremendous. That's even better. He right. wants to. Who though. wants to come? He wants. To. <laughs> I want to drill a hole in their fucking eyes that they can't take it no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're <laughs> fucking them and their one eyeball is hanging out, Jesus. and they're like, "When are you gonna come?" Because I come quick. Yeah. Uh, I come that's just minutes, the beginning. So in, <laughs> right there with you, brother. If I can come in 20 minutes and just keep giving your dick going from pussy to asshole to mouth, <laughs> back to your fucking Jeez, pussy. Jeez, Joey. Drill it back that's to your That's what you're ass. doing? That's no, you're but doing? that's my fantasy. If I couldn't come for an hour, oh, hitting you in the face, making you suck it, <laughs> popping it out and hitting you, you're like confused. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where you're going. Lick so he's toilet. never come. Holy he's right shit! There. He's right there. Talk to him. That's how it usually goes, by the way. Yeah, that's it. It's an it's hour just of fucking started. Speech, But he he can only come if he jerks off. He can't okay, then there. when you want to come after the chick is laying there like she got shot in Vegas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she's laying there, the one leg is hanging. You know what I'm saying? Her mouth is stretched out. Her, her asshole it's still open like a dragon's mouth. You know when you fuck him in the ass. The asshole stays open. Oh, do I? And then just laying there drinking milk, trying to recoup and shit. You're giving them like Gatorade. Then yeah. you just drink off on the tits and call it a night. There you go, man. Why are we even trying to solve this Dude, problem? I don't think it's a problem anymore. It's not a problem. You don't? No, yeah. You oh, only been two minutes. Know, convinced it's me. It's only been two minutes. Some if you told three fuck? chicks that you couldn't come, that you could give them each dick for an hour, you could get all three of them to show up at once and just keep going like Don Henley style. <laughs> you ever read that book? You uh -uh. wouldn't work in this town again. It came out in 98 about a hooker uh -uh. who wrote about all her experiences. And she wrote about Don Henley. That she would go to Don, Don Henley would order four bitches. And he would sit there in this table like this was his table. And that's a fireplace. He would make them bend. Don't, don't, don't even look at me. <laughs> he wouldn't even let them look at him. Just look towards the fireplace and, and bend, bend over. over. He'd do lines of coke and then get up, open up his robe and stick it in you like four times. And he'd sit back down again. And he'd do a couple more lines and, and he'd have you there for eight hours. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, this could be your life. life. This could be your life, Josh. <laughs> God, I hope so. That's someday. <laughs> like when you when I was younger and I did coke, oh, there was dick for fucking four hours. Yeah. You just were giving out dick. They're looking at you like, when is this gonna stop? And then when you do come, it's one of those long loads. Yeah. You ever have those loads? Like, I, I, used, to, I used to be on probation. And there was a dude that was like a G.I. Joe dude that failed the police test. But his assistant was a good-looking woman. Like, she was kind of cute. If I was 30, she was like 38. Nobody talked to her in bold because she had like a wooden leg. Like, her leg was kind of like she had like that little limp. But you could tell the bitch had game. Like she would sit <laughs> and look at the eyes and I right. could tell this bitch is deadly. But nobody talks to her because of the fucking wooden leg. Or yeah. whatever the fuck she's got. She got shot in Vietnam. I didn't know what happened to her. And she was very nice. I forget what her name was. I'd see her. I'd always flirt with her. But when I was doing, and I was in the probation, I figured out how to fuck with the piss test. I'm uncircumcised. So I would take, like, fucking pool cleaner and put it on my dick. And then pull the skin over it. <laughs> And put like a tab over, like a bread tab, like a <laughs> like a fucking rubber band. And then when I would go pee, the guy would watch me. <laughs> take my the thing out and just pee and then pull the skin back. And all the pool cleaner would go into the fucking thing. And then I would zap the machine. They would always say to me, this motherfucker's up to something. So he asked her. He 
goes, maybe you could see what the fuck he's doing. So I would, I, I, I knew when I would call him, well, I'll be there at four, because they would call you, and then you had to call a machine that would tell you what color was up. Mm -hmm. And if the color came up, that you, let's say your color is maroon, and they go, today's colors are green, maroon, and black, you would have to call in and tell them what time you're coming in. You had till 5 o'clock, but you had to make an appointment. Then she'd tell you, no, no. If he answered, that means he was going to watch you while you're pissed. But with me, they had mirrors around me. They couldn't figure out what I was doing. So they sent her in. So before I would go in, I'd fucking do a half a jerk in the car and get my dick nice and big. Yeah. And then I'd sprinkle it, the fucking... Uh, pool cleaner? The pool cleaner. <laughs> <or the laughs> Does it sting your dick, the it pool did. cleaner? It did. I got scars. I got little yeah. holes in my dick and uh, drain it. <laughs> yeah. I would grind it up. I would fucking put it under my dick and then pull the this is back nuts. and fall into the piss test and zap it. But before I would piss, I would take the hammer out and show it to her. Like, what do you think? What do you think? There's something nice. And she would look at it and look around the room. And not like I knew I, I was going to end up sleeping with her or swapping spirit with Because I flirt with her. Nobody yeah. talked to the woman because she had a fucked up leg. <laughs> so I'm off probation. I'm delivering Chinese food. And I'm slinging coke at the same time at the Chinese restaurant. So I would have, to, I would have you call the Chinese restaurant and say, and I talked to Joey. Yeah, what's up? Oh, you want egg drop soup? Whatever. The cocaine would be hidden under the egg drop soup so that if I got in trouble, the Chinese people got in trouble. I didn't put it in the bag. This was out, when I was out already, out of prison. <laughs> One night I knock on the door and who answers the door? It's her. And she goes, oh my God, it's so great to see you. How have you been? And I go, it's great to see you. Man, I gave her a hug and I put the Chinese down and she goes, what are you doing with your life? I, I go, I'm getting divorced, but I got the stand-up comedy and I'm trying to deliver food to make a living and she's like oh that's so sweet you you and her broke up oh you must need a hug and as i started hugging her, we started uh, swapping spit and i touched a little monkey and i could feel nobody had even touched a monkey in like 10 years <laughs> steam started coming up and i started fanning that motherfucker like a savage and swapping spit with her and my hand was nice and wet, and I'm fingering it. I got a pinky surrounding her asshole. <laughs> and I'm working. And finally, I put it down slowly, and I pop her pants. I take a tit out. She's got one big fucking tit. This I'm is too pit. much and information. I'm, I'm making out with her finger at the same time. So while I'm fingering her, I take her pants down, but I go, I don't want to see what the other leg is. So I took the leg off of the good leg, and I left the fucking bad leg covered because I don't want to know what yeah. it is. If she's got like a pole under there, one of those fucked up feet. <laughs> so I picked up a fucking leg and I started eating a pussy. The clit fucking was huge. I'm sucking on it like a piece of, like a piece of bubble. And I look up at it and she's like this, Christine, like, with her mouth open. I go, now's the time to put the helmet in that fucking mouth. So I switched up. I started two finger Louie and I went around her. And I put that fucking hammer in her mouth, and she didn't know what to do. She's like, mm -hmm. and I was, and at that time, at that time, I was trying to fucking lift weights and shit, so I wasn't jerking off. Because somebody told me not to jerk off that your protein. I was yeah. retarded. Yeah. Dog. You know, I'm retarded. Yeah. And when I came in the mouth, it was one of those loads, Christine, that don't stop. Yeah. You ever have one of those things? I know, And Christine. you're sucking it. You're sucking it with your eyes closed. And then after a minute, you open it up because you're like, when is this going to stop? And I could look at it, swallow it. And it was endless. It was yeah. fucking endless. It was just a load of death. It was like a month and a half of not coming. There was Valium in there and Xanax and fucking Well, it's okay. so nice seeing you, Joey. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> I shot a load in the mouth, and when I took my dick out, she went. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she drank a gallon of Mountain Dew. She looked at me. She started getting a little dizzy. <laughs> what the fuck? That was um, I was selling Valium at the time. I was taking like 100 milligrams of Valium a night. And I shot in her mouth to put her in a trance. She was glassy eyed. She gave me a $3 tip and I left. And I never saw her again. Uh, she was like that Chinese woman that slept for a week. Oh my God. Oh. You Jesus got any Christ. dates coming up you want to plug? <laughs> you can, you can still yeah, feel, you can still feel that? what that nut felt like, I bet, right? Oh, it was like a, it was like a three-minute nut. Yeah. Wait a minute. You didn't even bang her? You no, didn't put it no. in her vagine? No. No. Well, that's, no. That's, that's the the pussy eating yeah, yeah. was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I licked her ass Sorry, I blacked out at some point. Once I shove my tongue in your ass, you black out. It's like you're 14 and your uncle's molesting you. know?
<laughs> you just black out and let happen what's gonna happen anyway. Uh, <laughs> 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 This is too good. Oh man, you're Fuck the best. It. Take a shower. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Joey Diaz, oh. Church of What's Happening Now. Whew, um, he needs to go to church after that. <laughs> God, uh, <laughs> comedy store. Yeah, I need to pay a visit to a more. Where did your web? Your website? <laughs> oh, JoeyDiaz.net. You're the best. You're the best. So are you guys. I love you love so you much. Joey. Was, Christine, uh, you lived that load when I was saying it. That's why <laughs> I did not. It live took you back to college. Like I one did time. Not, I did not. When you got a bad she, you batch of Hungarian dick. I yeah, like Puerto Rican. Yeah, you got a bad batch of those platanito sperm. When you just swallowing, saying this is the worst. <laughs> so, oh, my eyes are still watering. That was Joey Diaz. Technically, face fucked her mouth. What the fuck did I just watch? That was some next level fucked up shit. Oh my god. Oh, that was too much information. I know more about his dick than any other dick on the planet. Okay, that came out wrong, but you know what I mean. But that was, oh my god, that was some next level. It wasn't even a stand-up. He's just telling you a fucking story from his past. And that end joke, oh my god, you're going to pass out like your uncle banged you when you were 14. Oh my, that was some fucking... Oh, Joey Diaz, you fucking beast. Fucking beast. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes are completely red. I can't stop. <laughs> it's just too much. Man, whoever recommended to me, I fucking love you, man. You don't understand. This was some next level shit. I haven't laughed like this in such a long time. This was absolute brilliant. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because I really fucking did enjoy this. And if you did, like, subscribe, share and leave a comment. I'll see you guys next time.